Hi everyone, today we will be talking about abstract factory design pattern. So without further ado, let's get started. Most common way of categorizing design patterns is by usage of those patterns, and it is divided into three main categories, creational, structural, and behavioral. Abstract factory belongs to creational design patterns. Similarly to factory design pattern, which we have already covered, abstract factory pattern is used to de decouple creation of family objects from client code. Main difference from factory pattern is that it has a set of factory classes and that's why it's also known as factory of factories. By simply changing the factory that we are using, we can substitute a whole family of classes in the application. One of the biggest disadvantages of this design pattern is supporting new set of classes which would require changes in the factory layer as well as adding a completely new factory. Let's have a look at the example demonstrating the usage of an abstract factory design pattern. We have a shape and its subclasses empty circle, empty square, filled square and filled circle. Now let's have a look at the layer of factories. First we have an abstract factory and its implementations empty factory and filled factory. Empty factory creates empty shapes, while filled factory is used to create filled shapes as we can see. A client comes and wants to create some of these objects, but he is not aware of any of the specific factories nor concrete classes of shapes. Only thing that he can do is to provide some input on what kind of shapes he wants. Factory generator comes in play to determine which of the factories should be created. And then the corresponding factory will create concrete object that client requests. Now, let's go through the implementation of this example. As for the factory design pattern example, we have chosen to use interface for the shape type. And as you can see, we have one abstract method called draw. Here, we have also shown a filled square class implementing the shape interface and its method draw. Implementation of other shape subclasses are almost the same with a slight difference in the message logged. Empty shaped factory and filled shape factory have almost identical implementation, but the key difference is that they are creating two different families of objects. Depending on the shape type parameter, they will either create a specific type of circle or square. Here we have displayed implementation of the factory generator and how the proper specific factory is being chosen based on the factory type parameter. Execution of this use case is currently being displayed. If you look at the console output, you will notice that different messages have been logged corresponding to the factory type as well as shape type argument that we are passing to our factory layer. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.